Hindi. Yes, sir. You are comfortable in English or Hindi? I am comfortable in Hindi, uh, English and Hindi as well. So, better introduce yourself uh, sir, in a professional way. So, my name is Prashant Kumar Singh. Uh, I am from Balia district. I have done my schooling from Holy Cross School, Convent School, Balia. From, uh, I have done my graduation from Harcourt Butler Technological Institute, Kanpur. From college, I was placed in Samsung uh, Electronics. Uh, after uh, having a work experience of five years, I decided to shift to civil services. Uh, from, uh, from civil services, uh, I took. Uh, I, I was also mentoring student of SSC CGL at all. Uh, my so hobbies. What happened after five years? Whether you were uh, rejected in the in the organization or you made up your mind. I was pa from right from beginning. I was passionate about doing something in s civil service. Since the uh, five years you worked for them, you did not do justice with them. N my interest later on changed toward public service. They changed so, level. so how it changed? I, I saw people uh, some results of uh, some toppers, some good IPS, IS officer doing some good for the society. So I changed my mind that I should also pursue this civil services. So I shifted to our public services, but that, that day I decided that if I am not able to contribute 100% in Samsung technologies, then I will do injustice to that job. So I resigned and started preparing for civil services. For how many years have you uh, uh, My preparation uh, almost 5 to 6 years. So for the five, last 5 to 6 years, you are uh, not adding any contribution to the GDP, rather you are this, uh, not this you did, but you can see you are resting your uh, IQ, your training, and your experience. So, is it good for any sir? No, sir, I was mentoring student of SACGL and uh, along with my friends, I have uh, I have planned a startup in education sector. Uh, so, but right, right, right now, it is in pipeline because I, I need a team of at least good student who have already experience in this field. What so, is that a startup? A startup uh, actually I am from Balia district uh, where education in education sector uh, there is not much scope so we student have to go to either Delhi or Lucknow so we are starting a, a coaching so it's a well and good idea then why are you looking for this job so, uh, uh, in order to gain credibility I need some results uh, in past I have cracked so just for the sake of credibility and the for the sake of your job uh, for the sake of your business I should say whether it's business you are keeping everything at a, so, so I, a, is it a game, it's a child play or No, so I, either, I, either I am I am a professional, that that professional educator, that that is not I am, or I, or I need a good corpus for marketing, branding, etc. So, then I can only launch myself. So, overall, good, uh, your goal is to, uh, start, to start a startup and then take it into a big business. I, I am planning it, but, but I need a result where I can prove myself in the society that yes, I have, I have achieved this. Only then I can gain so credibility. If you are hard working, if you are dedicated, if you are motivated, if you are uh, aiming on that, you need not to prove uh, society. You have to prove it to yourself and you have to make it successful. And the energy you are wasting here. Because finally, you uh, will do that business. So why not to focus on that? Sir? I am focusing. In past, I, I have uh, cracked government exam, uh, engineering government exam. There, I saw that people in my society they uh, they need results in order to uh, associate with myself. So I thought that I first get some results. So then only then pe student can be associated. So you read newspaper, Indian Express, and Hindu. Uh, Hindu. Editor. Who is the editor of Hindu? I am not unable to recall it right now, sir. Uh, G. Subramaniam Iyer was the founder of. I am talking about the uh, editor. No, editor, I am unable to recall. Indian Express also. G. D. Going Goenka, I think. The founder. Founder, but I, I am unable to recall, sir. So tell me the five news of today. Five, RBI has decided to uh, 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 change its forex uh, forex mode of transaction now. It, with Russia, it is planning to use rupee as a base. So it, it has opened Nostro and Vostro account, so that it can uh, easily trade with Russia. Second, uh, second, the, there is uh, issue going on over the uh, national emblem, emblem, which is in, which is recently inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. And third, it's not today's news. 
issue is going on why why the shape of the land has been changed it has it is it uh, against our cultural ethos or or what is your opinion regarding that is it right or wrong it, it, it the markets new india i think roaring land is, is clearly sim, sim, uh, simplifying growing growing india or aggressive india or is something energetic india so we should discard the original one no we should keep it. it it was part of our cultural ethos we should keep it but since things have changed over here so i think roaring line represents new india <coughs> roaring line is uh, challenging others mm. Ch uh, threatening others mm. but uh, china Indian also has dragon it's it uh, dragon or that so if uh, suppose your uh, neighbor is a criminal he is keeping bomb Still and so that you but it does not signify in, in the sense that I am threatening. It, it, just, it, it is justifying uh, aggressive, uh, energetic, uh, new in India kind of new dynamics of India. When India is going growth story, it, it will depict a new growth story so of India. Do you think that it is uh, unconstitutional? N national? It, I don't think so. It's unconstitutional. Prasant, after new India ka ye with uh, with some set of um, neighbors like with uh, china pakistan we should use hard diplomacy china is also using balance of both soft power and hard, hard power diplomacy if we see soft power it is a member of sco where it, it uh, where it conducts uh, talks diplomatic summit conduct summits with so india soft power hai. hard hai hard uh, side by side it is also acquiring lands in tawang and ladakh it is uh, supporting china over cpec so it is also con balancing both its soft and hard power stance so yeah, in, uh, earlier India used to conduct talks, diplomatic, it used to, earlier we used to conduct uh, soft power diplomacy through discussion dis, dis summits, we used to uh, ensure peace, peace is there, we, we followed Pancil doctrine and all, but right now I think it, it has little, then we are, we are taking it along with us, it is an, in our cultural ethos, but uh, a hard power should be a stance. If we keep keep our posture soft, told you, sir, told you right. With hard power, we have lost more uh, land to China. When we were the soft power, then we did not allow China to occupy more. This next so with, with with soft power, will in 1962 China acquired more land, but we right? Did not attack. Did not acquire. They went back again, and since then, very few kilometers of uh, land has been occupied by China. But since 2014. Uh, thousands of kilometers have been acquired, acquired. Even some villages of Arunachal, uh, Chinese have made their own colonies. I am not aware of this. No, I am aware of it. In so how, and hard, 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 how the hard power works? Hard post it, has, it has caused loss. The same thing is asking. Uh, by same by uh, keeping hard post stands, actually India is sending a message that we will not tolerate. I mean, we will want. That message has uh, caused us more loss. Yes, so. For example, recently uh, there was talk to change our nu nuclear uh, st stance. It was no first use. So, no, so no, Rajnath Singh has once in his press talks, he discussed that we should change it. It was a clear message that this. And there should be some de strong deterrent action, like uh, like we, we conducted URI attack. Uh, we give a message by Pulwama counter strike and all. But uh, the but uh, in between there was a phase of means uh, there was no such message. Strong message was given to Pakistan. Or, but it, it was it, it was long back in 1971. So and from 1971 till 2012. But there was no strong. Uh, but there was no such a uh, message was given. So changing stance. Pakistan hard power. Bharat soft power. 
लेकिन पाकिस्तान एक खेमे में बंद करके बर्बाद हो गया भारत यू से टेक्नोलॉजी लेता है रहा रसिया से भी टेक्नोलॉजी लेता रहा दोनों से ट्रेड करता रहा और आज भी काफ़ी आगे है आपको नहीं लगता कि हम हार्ड पावर बनने के बाद उसमें घाटा हो गया Uh, ensuring that uh, the where soft power is applicable, we will f- and practice it. But mm, we cannot miss hard power because there are some countries which are intransigent. We we have to apply this. Okay, now you are saying that nuclear, our reference, we will have to move on to aggressive mode. Is that what you are saying? Do you feel that now the discussion is going on that the UN permanent member has some kind of such a sense that we are hoping that in the next year or नेक्स्ट टू ईयर्स में में बन सकता है है क्या आपको लगता कि अगर so इसीलिए तो फॉर आवर ओन मीन्स बट इंडिया हैज ऑलरेडी सेट अ प्रेसिडेंट दैट इट इट इज अ पीसफुल नेशन एंड इट विल नॉट यूज इट्स न्यूक्लियर ओवर अ नॉन न्यूक्लियर नेशन और समथिंग सो इट विल इट विल यस बाई यू पी गवर्नमेंट यू पी गवर्नमेंट इज बेसिकली परसुइंग जननी सुरक्षा योजना इंदिरा गांधी मातृत्व सहयोग योजना हाँ बट इट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्टेट राइट नाइट नॉट रिकॉल इट जननी सुरक्षा योजना इज देयर वेर कंडीशन ऑफ वेज वेजेस इट्स ऑफ सेंटर बट स्टेट इज एक्चुअली स्टेट स्पेसिफिक स्कीम्स राइट आई कॉल कॉल में भी ग्राम प्रधान के चुनाव हुए थे ग्राम पंचायतों के आपको क्या लगता है कि ग्राम पंचायतें अपना काम पूरा करने में सफल हैं उनकी मेन चैलेंजेस क्या है फर्स्ट इज फंडिंग फंडिंग सेकेंड इज ऑल द ट्वेंटी नाइन आर्टिकल्स विच विच आर मैं टू फोर्टी थ्री एच इज नॉट डिवॉल्व थर्ड लॉट्स ऑफ पोलिटिसाइजेशन बिकॉज पोलिटिसाइजन इज देर फोर्थ ब्यूरोटिक रेड टेप रेड टेपिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस नो कवरेज ऑफ लेबर सेक्टर मीन्स सम डेटा बेस सेज दस लाइक मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लेबर सेज थर्टी सेवन करोड़ वर्कर्स आर देयर टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सेंस सेज फोर्टी सेवन करोड़ आर देयर सो दर इज नो यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ डेटा सेकेंड दर इज नो सोशल सिक्योरिटी स्कीम्स दैट कवर्स वाइड रेंज ऑफ वर्कर्स लाइक प्लेटफॉर्म वर्कर्स गिग वर्कर्स एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर्स एंड ऑल थर्ड इंडस्ट्रियल दर इज नो सिंगल विंडो कंप्लाइंस मेकेजम लाइक where a in worker can uh, raise his de- voice and he can get uh, compensation or he can get his uh, grievance so, rate you are selected as b in epf how you can overcome these problems uh, i will have uh, the i will have the right to go in and inspect uh, institutions where uh, where epf law is not been implemented let's say uh, i can go to those uh, those zombie firms which try to keep themselves small so that they can get the benefit of government program so they i will inspect them i will ask them to get themselves enrolled moreover uh, for those firms which are less than 10 or 20 which f- where uh, epfo uh, act is voluntary in nature i will ask them to uh, get themselves enrolled voluntary even epfo organization uh, running on the outsource staff they are not having permanent staff maximum staff is outsourced I I I will try to enforce the rules of EPFO. Now you are hiring to a contractor. Okay. Now if he is not paying uh, 
Uh, there are penal provisions in EPFO Act. I will, I will, I will, I will ensure that its provisions are uh, enforced on him. This, uh, this, the law says if he misses the EPF uh, by two or four months, there is interest penalty of 17 percent. If by if he misses by four or six months, there is interest penalty of 25 percent. If he misses so all, here is financial penalty. Do you think the problem can be solved? No, there are penal provisions, other penal provisions, then imprisonment of three years and uh, and a fine. Generally, we say that you will be punished with 50,000 rupees or six months imprisonment. Okay, I will commit the offence and pay 50,000, do whatever you want. So, do you don't feel that the provision should be simply that you should be punished with the six month imprisonment? Why penalty should be there? But if I am having some, I am having financially some person. Okay, I will pay one lakh also. Rule, rule, rules are lax. So there should be some mechanism like digitalization so that workers can enroll themselves where they, where we can keep a track of them. Okay, you are from Baliya. Yes. Tell me about Anganwadi. What is this Anganwadi? Anganwadi uh, workers are uh, uh, appointed by. Is appointed I didn't ask about Anganwadi workers. Anganwadi, Anganwadi. Anganwadi is Who schemes. Anganwadi center? Where a group of uh, women uh, come together, they uh, they uh, they do some social constructive work like um, means some some small cottage industries, uh, some, something like this. In Anganwadi? Anganwadi, Anganwadi centers. Some so Anganwadi centers. How many services are being provided there? I, I cannot recall, but some social some all those schemes or activities which promote. Uh, so, so the good, good, good. Do you have any idea about the children of which age they are coming to the Anganwadi? No, sir, I don't have any idea. Okay.